The next thing is uh, that we can't only generate the plain code, we can also generate additional code um, for for this, we can generate plugins so that we can get editors, for example. Uh, so for that, we go again to the gen model and uh, instead of generating the model code, we can also say generate the edit code and then the editor code, or we can simply say generate all. And then we see that it creates two new projects. They're both uh, plugin projects and we can run them if, so let's maybe use the editor and say run as Eclipse application. If you don't see this run as Eclipse application, you might not have installed the plugin development tools, then you might have to install them as, as shown in this tutorial here. But if you have it, which is the default, if you installed the, the modeling tools Eclipse, then uh, you can just click this and yeah, it complains uh, about this. Uh, missing constraint import package uh, because of some changes in, uh, in in Java, but you can happily ignore this. And then it will start a second Eclipse where it's now executing the generated code as plugins. And then in that second Eclipse, so you see here, it takes some time to load. So here is a completely fresh uh, new Eclipse. And then uh, let's just create any kind of project, a general project. Let's, do we have to give it a special name? Yeah, let's call it testing. And then here we can say new other, and then we should have our web page model. And the name that we should give to this is what? My web page. Sounds good. Uh, the model object web. So we need to say here where we start from. Uh, you see, we can start from almost any of the classes, but now it depends on the, um, the containment based on the compositions that we created. And based on that, web would be the root. So we can only add model elements uh, that would be starting from that root. So if we would select article, uh, we could only uh, play with that article and not add further classes. But if we set web, which is the parent um, of all the others, then, then we can uh, extend the model to be a bit more interesting. OK. Um, this is our model now. And we see here we have an element of web. Uh, we might want to look at properties. There we have the keywords, which is one of the attributes. And we can, we can give some, some values for it. Um, maybe software. And then uh, we can also add additional children. So here, children refers to this uh, composition hierarchy. So the only children of web can be web page. Uh, then of web page, we could add further categories. And after categories, we had articles. So this basically is this. Um, hierarchy that we had in our class diagram here. Let's see, how do we get the class diagram back? Um, here, you see this, this hierarchy here that we created using these compositions, web, web page, category, article. And um, Yeah, we can, we can save it. We can also create siblings. Um, so based on the composition, we could add additional web pages. Uh, they would then be on the same level. So it's, it's really this uh, containment level hierarchy here. And for all of them, we can set the attributes. And that's how we uh, can create our models using this very generic but generated editor.